Welcome, Cancer. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Wendy Irene, founder of GiveLoveCreateHappiness.com. Please come join me there if you feel called to. It's my creative space in the world. So this reading is for if you have Cancer in your chart or if you're drawn to it. It is one of those things where I feel like it's divine timing. So when you get the messages, when you're meant to hear it. Um, so it's timeless in that way. I want you to remember that the readings are meant to be a bridge to your own intuition, where you get a chance to hear your higher self and what wants to come up within you. That is what's really truly important. And the energies that come up are collective. So not every energy is gonna match every person. The, the main idea here is that you hear yourself, like you hear your inner voice. And sometimes I think if you just go into this reading with the intention of hearing um, your higher self through the energy of love, I really feel like it will come through for a lot of you. Okay, Cancer, let's get started. Be sure to check out your moon and rising signs as well, because for me, it didn't personally make a lot of sense until I combined more of the energies. Um, and then, you know, it won't be as long in between videos for you as well. Okay, I'm just shuffling the cards here. I already pre-shuffled them as well, but I'm just shuffling them a couple more times. Okay, so on the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Wands. This is passionate energy. The Queen of Wands is warm and attractive and loving and passionate and also action-oriented here. So for some of you, um, I almost feel like it's like you're getting fired up about something. You're getting passionate about something, whether it's a person or a situation or something that's making you kind of feel excited and loving. And um, you're also just standing out in this beautiful, attractive energy. You have the Eight of Cups. I feel like you're walking away from something that maybe you're not passionate about, like that you're just not fulfilled towards something you are. Or you could be taking this leap of faith in order to do that here. Yeah, I just said leap of faith and we got the fool card. And for me, the fool card is all about taking the leap of faith, trusting the universe, the knight of pentacles. So the knight of pentacles is slow moving energy. Um, it may be that this fresh start has been slow coming, but it's also really stable. It's a very, very stable long-term energy. So whatever it is that you're heading towards that is more in alignment with like lighting you up and making you feel passionate, this new beginning that you're heading towards, this leap of faith that you're doing is something long-term. It's something that's going to be prosperous for you here too with the Knight of Pentacles. For some of you, this could be a new relationship coming in, a stable offer coming in, um, the, the fool is new, um, but it is something that will last for the long term. That won't apply to everybody. You have the chariot card under the queen of wands. The chariot is, this is interesting because the chariot is a fast moving energy. I feel like, and it's also the universe. I feel like the universe is here with the chariot, it's like you're being divinely guided and you're allowing the universe to take you where it wants to, like it to take you, you're, I feel like with the fool, it's like you're taking the leap of faith and you're allowing the universe to, to guide your chariot is basically what I'm trying to say here. You're allowing the universe to guide you and in the process, you're going to be guided to something that feels really passionate and is going to put you in this beautiful energy. You know, you're being seen as very warm and loving and attractive here. You have the lover's card. So for some of you, this is about a choice. The lover's card can be about a choice, but it falls under the Knight of Pentacles. So um, as I was saying before, if there's either this new person coming in in love that's going to last for the long term here with the Knight of Pentacles. It's a very stable offer. Or it's a fresh start with the full card. It could be a fresh start with your person. 
Um, but there is definitely, for some of you, this love connect connection, this soulmate connection here. Um, and I do feel that some of you have had to make this choice where, like, you're, you're not going to stay in situations that are not fulfilling for you. The Hierophant. This is the card of Taurus, so you could be dealing with a Taurus. Um, it really could be any sign. I don't like to focus on that too much, but this is the card of Taurus. Hierophant is um, the spiritual guru, too. So it's also a step up in commitment. So when you have the lover's card, there might be this step up in commitment, um, going to the next level in the relationship. Um, you know, whether that's moving in together or marriage or just, you know, there's this leveling up in commitment. There's also <clears throat> you leveling up here spiritually. Um, and you may find that there are people that come to you for advice because they see, you know, they see that light shining within you. And I feel like you've really, really stepped up here spiritually in one way or another. Like you're, you're gaining so much wisdom is what it feels like. You have the six of pentacles. This is a very good card of prosperity. So I feel like in terms of stability and money, like it's looking really good here. And this is falling under the chariot. So whatever the universe is moving you towards, it's a very positive thing. It's prosperous. It's a victory. Um, the emperor. The emperor. This is also going underneath the Hierophant. I mean, really, this is about standing in your power. For some of you, this could be the person that's coming in for you. The emperor is very, um, feels very confident to me today. Like, I read the cards intuitively as well, and it's feeling very confident. You have, like, the, both of these here sitting on their throne confidently with wisdom and... I feel like you're allowing this spiritual wisdom to like guide you to rule over your life here in a very positive way. Um, and the chariot card is pointing to both the Hierophant and the Emperor. So that's where I feel like you're headed. Uh, you've really stepped up here, Cancer. Okay, four cards came out. The Hermit, Strength, the King of Swords, and the Ace of Swords. There's clarity of the mind coming in. So the hermit means that you may have pulled back. You may have um, really had to take time to pull away to go within yourself so that you could gain some kind of clarity. And in that process, I feel like that's why the hair font is emerging. That's why the spiritual um, side of you is emerging where you're gaining lots of wisdom and it's really showing. Um, the strength card, you've been through a lot. And that's why you have so much strength. I mean, it wasn't easy to come by all this strength. It's from all the experiences that you've been through. And I always like just to point out, she has the hands in the lion's mouth here. I mean, that is amazing. Who does that, right? Like, you have so much strength. You have the king of swords. So, clarity. I'm feeling like you're... You're also like able to communicate here while well. the King of Swords is a great communicator. Also very balanced in the mind, um, having clarity. All these cards of like the Queen and the Hair Bond, the Emperor and the King, like you're really standing strongly in this powerful position here. Ace of Swords, another card of a brand new beginning, another card of clarity here. Um, and I definitely feel this faith coming from you and trusting the universe and the, and for some of you this is about a love connection because the lover's card is here but it's like you're gaining clarity you have strength you're you're communicating beautifully here or your person is and it's coming from really like having spent this time you or your person going within taking time to go within Really asking yourself the questions like, what makes me happy? What doesn't make me happy? Uh, 
what direction am I heading in so that I can really shine brightly here and allowing the universe to take you there, allowing the universe to give you this brand new beginning. I really love this for you here, Cancer. Okay, let's pull some cards from another deck. For some of you, your person has received clarity is what I'm hearing with what side it fell on. So not all of you, it's going to have to do with another person. But for some of you, your person has received clarity. They are wanting this fresh start. Um, they have the strength to work through things here with the strength card. Especially, um, that's a very divine masculine energy coming through there. Don't pay too much attention to gender because we all have masculine and feminine, so take it as it resonates, but this is a big deck. <laughs> what are the highest messages for cancer? What does cancer need to know? I feel like you're stand strongly standing by your beliefs here. You're standing your ground here with the emperor as well. Like, it's like you know what's right for you. And you're standing by that. And you're also having this victory. Okay. Five of action. This is interesting because this is what I was saying with the emperor. I was feeling confidence. So the five of action is saying... Your angels want you to know that your current challenges push you to be assertive and self-confident. And that's pretty much what the emperor is. And the king of swords speaks clearly, communicates clearly, um, is assertive, is confident. Be willing to stand up for yourself and defend your position. You have the right to excuse yourself from those who bring drama into your life. Which is what I feel like the Eight of Cups is. Like you are excusing yourself from those who do not bring happiness or drama. Just cause drama. Like you're the Emperor here. You're the Hierophant. You're shining. You've got, you're getting this clarity. You have that right. So stand confidently in that. I really was feeling that energy. I love when it's, when it comes out again, it just helps. It's like the universe saying like, I meant what I said. Um... And this confidence is just beautiful here. Okay, we got two more cards that want to come out for you, Cancer. The seven of actions. So there's a lot of fire energy going on, a lot of action energy, because you have the queen of wands as well. Um, this is you, again, claiming your personal power. This is you feeling confident um, and strength again. And you had the strength card come out. It's like confidence and strength. Seven of action is also that and and you being able to say no when it's the right thing to do for yourself here um and you're recognizing like when it's inner conflict or when it's outer conflict here um so sometimes things are stemming from some kind of inner conflict within yourself but you're really recognizing what's right for you and you're really taking this leap of faith and allowing the universe to guide the chariot for you um in a direction that's really positive you also have the healer of abundance here so this is again not doubting that you can make a difference you're creative you have amazing abilities here um and you're destined to succeed also here with the six of pentacles um, but it's also a card of remembering to keep balance in your life. So, like, if you're working really hard or striving towards something, like, remember to have fun at the same time, right? Like, or balancing life and career. Um, this is an energy of somebody who's really down to earth. Um, could be somebody that's good with design or decorating or artistic endeavors in some way. And it's this open-minded, nurturing energy, whether that's you or your person. So take it how it resonates. Okay, Cancer, let's see if there's just any advice that wants to come out. What is the advice for Cancer? What is the advice for Cancer? I mean, for sure, it's, it's this confidence, this ability to say no to drama, no to things that aren't fulfilling to you having this faith 
five of pentacles something left you feeling in this state of lack and i feel like that's what you're moving on from because you don't you don't want to be in that energy anymore you don't want to feel like you don't have what you need here something caused you to gain a lot of strength something difficult caused you to gain a lot of strength where you were just feeling like i feel like you were feeling unsupported maybe you were feeling unsupported by your person or something but this person is gaining clarity there's this fresh start with the fool and the ace of swords um okay so you have the nine of swords here as well So this is um, this is a reminder to watch your thoughts, okay? Because like your thoughts can cause um, the mind can cause a lot more unnecessary turmoil than it really needs to. Um, your thoughts can t can get to be all over the place, and um, and cause even more stress than is needed or cause you to feel this feeling of lack but the truth here is you have the universe behind you you have the universe guiding you the truth here is that you have the higher fun and the emperor with confidence and this ability to stand by your beliefs and you have this choice and love you have this stable offer coming in for you so really be careful of any lack mentality too um, because it can become like a self-fulfilling prophecy. So if you can really focus on what it is you do have, that's going to be a very positive thing for you here. Um, nine of wands and nine of pentacles. Nines for me are really about getting on your spiritual path. It's like a wake up call from the universe. Like and now you have three nines to, you know, really step into your spiritual path here. Um, I feel as though you're going from the five of pentacles where you're feeling lack to basically a wish coming true and you having this beautiful stability um, in terms of money. If for some of you it has to do with money, in terms of money, it's like you will be able to absolutely take care of yourself. Um, just watch the lack thinking or watch the taking on too many burdens um, and say no to be the emperor and say no if it's too much if it's not right for you if it doesn't bring you happiness so that you don't become overstressed or overburdened here so that you can you know be in this beautiful energy of the nine of pentacles um which is very independent and you know able to take care of yourself and feel really good it can feel like um wishes coming true in some ways here okay cancer i hope that you got some messages that were helpful Thank you so much for joining me. It means the world to me to be here with you. Um, if you want to help this channel grow, I would love for you to subscribe or share. And know that I am sending you my love and light. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye, Cancer.